Hello everyone, I am Shannon Rose if you are new here and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys an IVF update and kind of let you guys know what's going on with all of that. It's been over I think six months since the last IVF update and that was kind of just letting you guys know that we were going to start trying again to have another baby through IVF treatments and we finally after six long months got the green light from our doctor to go ahead and start our IVF cycle. I couldn't be more excited. I'm also very scared and nervous. I think I'm just a little bit traumatized from what happened the last time we were doing IVF and IUI. If you guys are maybe new here and don't know about that, I'll try to link some of the videos down below, but it's been a crazy journey. I've had ectopic pregnancies. I had to have not one, but both of my fallopian tubes removed. The pregnancy ended up in my abdomen, which is super, super rare. And oh, let me just <laughs> clarify that because if you don't know much about the reproductive system, it sounds like you're supposed to have a baby in your tummy, but the pregnancy is actually supposed to start in your uterus and mine was not in my uterus. It was like up here somewhere. Somehow through one of the IUI treatments that I had, I don't know if it like punctured through the uterus. Most doctors are like, that's near impossible to happen, but I think that might have happened to me. I don't know for sure, but the IUIs were very painful for me and they're not supposed to be very painful. So it's definitely a possibility. Either way, I've had a lot of rough, difficult times getting to be able to have snow and I wouldn't take back any of those emergency surgeries, internal bleedings, like pain and suffering and thousands and thousands of dollars because I now have snow and she is like why I was even born. Like she's my whole world and I love her so much and I'm so beyond grateful and blessed that we were able to have her. We tried so hard and right when we were just close to really giving up, it's when I got pregnant. So with that being said, it's a long history of our fertility journey to have snow, but fast forward to now, we have been kind of like talking about, hey, when are we going to do this next IVF cycle? When are we going to start? And six months ago is when I was ready to start, but not everything was in place for us to be able to start then. And so I'm making this video now to update you, to let you guys know kind of where we're at. And that is basically, I have started medications and this month is the month that I will be starting our IVF treatment and cycle. That doesn't mean that I'm gonna get pregnant this month. That just means that I'm basically getting my body ready to extract the eggs, you know, have that surgery where they take your eggs. And so in order to do that, it's like this whole process. So they started me on prenatal vitamins, baby aspirin. Right now I'm currently on double doses of birth control. And that might sound kind of counterproductive, but basically the reason that they do the birth control to get your body ready is you have all these follicles on your ovaries that they take out and I guess there's like eggs inside of them or they are the eggs, I'm not really sure like exactly, but they basically wanna get all the follicles on your ovaries all the same size and I guess birth control does that. So I take it for like two weeks and then they check me out and make sure all those follicles are growing on my ovaries and they're all the same size because when I just had my ultrasound like a couple days ago, they were all different sizes and I had about like five or six on each side. So the doctor was happy with that, so now, we are, you know, taking all the birth control and it's only the second day, but I think because they double dose you, so I've taken four birth control pills in two days that I'm already like hormonal. And on top of that, for those of you guys that don't know, I have been nursing my daughter this whole time and we've slowly kind of started weaning her. I've been giving her a bottle, which she wouldn't take at first. Now she's finally taking it of like plant-based milk and she has been drinking that, but <sighs> my boobs hurt so bad because I just, kind of cold turkey stopped nursing her. And when I say cold turkey, I mean, I was still nursing her a little bit at night and then maybe for like a minute or two during the day, like once or twice a day she would nurse, but we were trying to give her like the bottle as much as we could. So she was still nursing. And then, you know, I kind of just like cut her off. I had no choice, you know, if we want to do this IVF cycle, I really don't want her getting the hormones from the birth control. Even though the doctors did say, it's okay to nurse her still while you are doing the birth control, but once we start injections, I would recommend against it. There was another doctor in the same fertility practice that said she does have some patients that still nurse while they are doing their injections, but she said, you know, your baby will be getting some of that through the breast milk, and I just wasn't comfortable with that. So 
even with the birth control, I'm not comfortable with uh, snow nursing why I'm taking birth control, just because I am taking higher doses than normal. So we just kind of cut her off. It's been very hard for me. I think it's been harder for me than it's been for snow. Regardless, <laughs> we're going strong. We're doing the best we can. I'm 34 and the doctors don't want me waiting much longer, especially to get the eggs out. So we're basically <laughs> doing everything that we're supposed to do. And this month or the beginning of the next month, I should be having the surgery to get my eggs removed. And then Travis will give his sperm and then they'll make the embryos. I really hope and pray to God that we at least get one. The first time we did it, we were like, oh, we hear people that they get all these embryos, you know, and then they can freeze them. And when they want to have another kid, they just take that embryo that they, you know, have saved up and put it inside and hope that it works. When I watched videos and IVF videos, that's kind of how I thought it's supposed to go, but it doesn't always go that way for everyone. Everyone's different, every body's different, every doctor's different, every protocol for different fertility treatments are always gonna be different. For us, the doctors were like, oh, you're so young, you're healthy. They were very optimistic. It made us very optimistic and hopeful, and so when we only got one embryo, I was devastated and I was also going through a lot too you know when you're on all those medications they make you crazy and I had thought that I was pregnant from an IUI and then I found out that I thought that I was miscarrying and then really it was an ectopic pregnancy and then I had to have an emergency surgery to remove one of my fallopian tubes and then I woke up from that surgery which was awful something went wrong with the anesthesia and it was really scary and then I woke up to find out they didn't just remove one of my fallopian tubes but they took both of them because they didn't know which one it was in because they couldn't see it. It wasn't in either one of the fallopian tubes. It was in my stomach. Anyway, it's just crazy. It was crazy. I'd gone through a lot and I was just very emotional. And so when I found out I only had one embryo and you know, it doesn't always work the first time you do it. And so I was just very close to giving up. Anyway, I am very scared, nervous, hopeful, excited. I'm feeling like all the feels about this IVF Cycle. It's also a new doctor. It's a new clinic. They have new protocols. You know, we're doing things a little bit differently now. The good thing is, is that I'm closer to family. So I have my family's support. The bad news is that I'm already a hormonal wreck. And I think because I stopped nursing and also I'm on like double dose birth control, like my hormones are just all out of whack. It's just been a little bit rough. And also snow is doing really well with the milk in the bottle instead of wanting to nurse on me. There are times where she still tries to come up and nurse and it like breaks my heart because I feel really bad. Uh, it's like total mom guilt. And then also like if she hurts herself, I always just put her on the boot because it was like her comfort place. And so now when she hurts herself, I feel like so sad because I know she wants to like come to me and like nurse and I just, I can't. And so I just like hold her, but she still cries and it's just, oh, it's freaking heartbreaking. But I know it's just, you know, temporary. We'll get through this. Everything's going to be okay. And I know that it's all going to be worth it if we can give her a sibling. And we are so grateful to have Snow. I know a lot of people go through IVF and they don't get any babies out of it. And it's heartbreaking. And I know how hard it is going through that just because for years I was trying to get pregnant and I couldn't. And it was just it's a really hard thing to go through. Not being able to have kids naturally is just a hard pill to swallow because you don't really want to believe it, but it's a really hard thing to go through. Emotionally, physically, you know, the medication that you're on, just like everything is just so hard, but it's also so, so worth it when you get a little baby to hold at the end and when all the hard work and all the money and everything that you've gone through, it just makes it so worth it. And I would go back and go through all of the awful things that I went through all over again, just so that I could have snow. So because I know that, and because I know how worth it all of this is, it makes me want to do it again. I really didn't want to do it. I was like, nope. My pregnancy was really awful, really awful. I was miserable for like almost a year. And then the birth was, <laughs> awful. I just did not have good experiences with everything. I remember after I had snow, I was like, I'm not doing this again. I love her and she is my whole world, but I'm not doing this again. I remember saying that to Travis and he was like, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Even though I know he really wanted another baby. And then after, you know, months had gone by, I was like, okay, I change my mind. I want to do it again. Even people that don't do fertility, they're like, you know, you are pregnant and you give birth and it's really hard, but then you like forget. So you have more kids. I don't know what it is, 
but it's true you forget i don't know if it's like you forget how bad it was or you know it was bad but they're worth it so you want to do it again i don't know what it is but i don't want to be selfish and i think that being an only child is totally fine and amazing and you know you get all the attention and everything most of the time <laughs> you have good parents but i also know that i personally grew up with siblings and I can't imagine my life without them and so I so badly want to give Snow a sibling and so that's why I'm doing this. I'm doing this for Snow because I really don't want to do it again. It's awful. If anyone's gone through it, you know what I mean. It's not fun and it's way more expensive this time for us because we are back in LA and so doctors here are just like crazy expensive compared to up north where we did it previously which was still super expensive it's just double what it was there here and so they don't take insurance and we have to pay everything out of pocket and we also have to pay up front this doctor is supposed to be really good and i trust them we've saved everything that we have to be able to pay for this ivf treatment so i am just hoping and wishing and praying that it goes well and that i have a totally different experience from the first ivf cycle a lot of people had questions for me they're like i thought that you didn't have fallopian tubes so are you able to use your own eggs or are you getting donor eggs or sperm and i still have my ovaries and our eggs come from our ovaries so i'm able to still use my own eggs and travis's sperm so it will be our kid people also ask like why don't you just get a surrogate oh my god that would be so amazing <laughs> I would love to do that. One, it's way out of our budget. We wouldn't be able to afford it. And two, Travis is not totally on board with that. Oh yeah, that's another thing is the whole like adoption thing. Like, oh, well, why don't you just adopt? I would adopt in a heartbeat, but I used to do porn. I did a lot of like fetish porn and my past prevents me from being able to adopt. So that's kind of like out of the question for us. And also my husband is not comfortable with adopting. I am, and like I said, I would do it in a heartbeat. Anytime I make these videos, people are like, there's so many kids that need to be adopted. Like, why don't you adopt? And that's the main reason why we don't. Or I would. <laughs> I would find some way to convince Travis, but it's just not an option for us. So the only other really option that we have and can afford is to do IVF. We're just doing <laughs> the best we can with the options that I have and what we can afford so with that being said i do plan on documenting this whole journey i actually went to the fertility office and we filmed a little bit of that we are right now on the way to our fertility office today i'm getting a shit ton of blood drawn and then i'm also going to be getting an ultrasound travis is also getting some sperm analysis stuff done okay guys this is the room when you enter in i'm standing where the doorway is we have a nice little chair, little cleanup station, voyeur viewing if you would like to open the window. Room's pretty small. It is 1008, I think it's the 19th. I'll continue to film and document everything. That way, if you or someone you know is also going through this, maybe you can share this video with them so that they feel less alone. I know a lot of people are going through this and not a lot of people feel comfortable being open about it or talking to their friends and family and want to stay a little bit more private about it totally understandable and hopefully you could just watch this video and know you're not alone i'm right here with you and i just want anyone else that's going through this to know that you are stronger than you think i'm rooting for you and i love you and i really hope that you get your little miracle baby and don't give up that's i think my biggest thing i know people try for like over 10 years sometimes to get pregnant and do fertility treatments, all these things, and it's the people that never give up. Those are the people that end up with their little miracle baby. This is the start of our IVF cycle number two, and like I said, I have to you know do the whole process all over again. Gonna be documenting it. I hope you guys come along on the journey with us. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting us. We are sending you all of our love and all of our positive energy, and we hope to see you in our next video. Mwah!